The final moment of Nigeria's presidency at the Security Council for the month of August. 30 days after chairing the most powerful organ of the United Nations on issues bordering on global peace and security. Council members reflect on the agenda for the month, including its achievements within the period. This month, Madam President, the Council covered a wide breadth of issues on the role of regional and sub-regional organisations in our work on international peace and security, on the importance of security sector reform in sustainable peace building, and on the vital need to learn from last year's Ebola outbreak and recommit to reaching zero. And I'm pleased that under your presidency, you have continued to bring diverse issues such as these to the Council's attention. In spite of all these feats, however, the crisis in Libya, Syria, Central African Republic and elsewhere around the world are a few of many conflicts that still begs for immediate action of the Council. In her parting words, the outgoing President of the United Nations Security Council, Professor Joy Ogu, urged members to be more strategic in their approach to conflict resolutions for sustainable results. Let us together treat the symptoms as well as the causes. We tend to treat the symptoms rather than the causes. We must address the root causes of conflict. After all is said and done, many agree the month of August has been a very fruitful one at the Security Council, and this obviously calls for celebrations, as it is the tradition of the chamber to honor outgoing presidents. Nigeria bows out as president of the United Nations Security Council for the month of August and indeed ends her term as a member of the chamber come 31st of December 2015. The bar appears to have been raised for Africa with a renewed approach to African affairs and issues at the Security Council. From the United Nations headquarters in New York at Deshewa Josh, Channels Television News.